Okay guys and girls, here a very quick, very short video about a topic that really drives me crazy. I know that, for example, Oberon is the operating system for which not very much documentation in form of a written book is existing. There are some exceptions on the Oberon programming language, but there is only one book existing really showing how to deal with the Oberon operating system itself. And this book is named the Oberon Companion. The Oberon Companion was a book uh, issued in the 1980s and 1990s. And I once owned this book a few years ago. Um, unfortunately, I sold it for a few bucks because the, at this moment I was dealing with some personal problems. I was changing my mind a little bit and I thought, uh, my time with Oberon was over and in fact this was a mistake from my side. So I sold this book for a few bucks. As I bought it um, about 10 years ago, I paid I think 40, 40 or 45 euros for this book on Amazon. Now, if you want to buy this book now, because it's not printed anymore, there are some guys out there in the system, uh, out there in the world, that have a, do have a very strange hobby. They are collecting very rare books and trying to sell them for a ton of money to people who who, who really need them. And the Oberon Companion is a very good example for this behavior. As I told you, I paid 45 bucks for this book. And now if you look at Amazon, you can get it used for, now listen to me, 550 euros. 550 euros. That is tenth the price I originally paid for the book when it was new. So this is totally crazy. This is insane. That these people really think someone would pay 550 bucks for, for a used book. This is incredible. And because I don't want you to um, buy a book for this price, I show you how you can get the Oberon Companion for free. Okay? Okay, fire up your Oberon system. And in the system tools, you can see a line where you can start the Oberon gadget system. <coughs> this is, uh, just let me see here, desktops open doc Oberon dot desk. We'll click on it. And now the Oberon GUI. Um, surface starts and when you go over here to the button store on the left side and you click no, uh, sorry on this um, on this button with all those little tiny little books and you click with your um, left mouse button on it you can go down to the documentation panel and you release the left button and the documentation panels open opens and now you can click on show with the middle mouse button and now everything in the system here is listed uh, in an unfiltered way. And when you can, when you go down very slowly, you can see here in this part where the character C documents are listed, you see something like chapter zero text, chapter one text. These are all tech files. You know, as this is, this is um, uh, maybe a little outdated technical documentation format. When you click, for example, on chapter 0 with the middle mouse button, you can see the book The Oberon Companion. And when you close this, you can open chapter 1. You can see it's chapter 1 of The Oberon Companion. You can close it, you can open chapter 2. You can see it's chapter 2 on The Oberon Companion. So everything you need, as I told you in the last video, everything you need for the system is stored on the system itself. You don't have to browse to everything in the internet like you're used to when you're dealing with problems in, with, in Linux or on Windows, everything you need is already here placed on the system. This is very wise and very intelligent design system. Okay, now go on and read.